Hi, my name is Ryan Engel, and I'm an R&D engineer here at Mutual Mobile. Recently, iOS 5 came out, and there are some really new exciting APIs, one of which is space tracking. Uh, in the spirit of Halloween, I've kind of been working on a little side project where we take the Mutual Mobile employees and turn them into zombies. So you can either take a picture, or in this case, I've imported one from my photo library, and uh, you know, the picture should have some faces. Uh, one thing to note, it's best if the face is head-on, but as you can see, the face doesn't have to be perfect for the face tracking to work. Um, the way that the API works is it gives you the position of the two eyes and the mouth, and then the whole entire rectangle surrounding the face. So we're going to try this image, and now it's detecting the faces. And as you can see, it actually detected all three faces, and they line up quite well. So now I'll select each candidate and infect them with our uh, zombie filter. Now we've filtered all the faces, affected the look of their skin, and overlaid eyeballs over their, over their faces. And uh, after we're done with that and we're happy with the result, we can click Finished. And then we have the option to apply different filters using Core Image, another new iOS 5 uh, edition. So that was fun. You can turn your friends into zombies and uh, share it with people on Facebook, but beyond the kind of gimmicky photography aspect of face tracking, there are some really exciting new things for brands, uh, specifically in apparel. You know, instead of putting zombie eyes on somebody, you could actually put sunglasses on them, or you could put uh, a Kangol hat on them. Or if you're a female, you could totally see what you look like with different types of makeup. So it's pretty exciting in that respect. Another area that face tracking is really exciting in is security. Uh, biometrics has come a long way, and in the future, you'll be able to log into your phone using your face. It can measure the distance between your eyes and the distance between your eyes and your mouth and other features of your face, and log you in if you're the correct person. Ultimate security. A final area where face tracking is really interesting is in advertising. By checking people's eyes and seeing where their pupil is focused, we can actually see where you're looking on the screen and be able to determine what people focus on when they see certain screens and kind of adapt our applications to match what people's focus is on. So face tracking is new to iOS, we'll be seeing a lot more of it and it's a really exciting area to experiment with.